My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. New run, D10, roll it. What do we get on that D10? That's a two. Oh, well, we're going to break our streak. Cellar one. Thank you for the spiders. I'm a well-known critic of the character Magdalene. I don't feel like... So, her benefit is that you have all this red health that you can take damage on, right? But the most reliable way to get carried through the game is to go to deals with the devil. And deals with the devil require that you don't do what? Anyone? Take red heart damage. Yeah. So she's not exactly, uh, stellar for that kind of a, a, a thing. You kind of need to get carried outside of that. Speaking of getting carried outside of the deal with the devil pool, the item that we just got, called Rage, is really good. It's really good. We just got hit three times, so our damage has increased by 1.5 from what it was prior. The next three times we get hit, each time our damage will increase by like 1.33, right? So, insanely more. On this first floor, it's going to be pretty damn hilariously effective. Thanks to the fact that we have all of this red health that we can take damage against ineffectually. So, it doesn't matter if we take damage against this red health, because there's no deal with the devil to earn this floor. However, next floor, this is going to be entirely less effective. Thank you. So if you're wondering why I made my enemy hit me there, actually, I'll do it again. Boom. It's because I've got a charge of that and then a charge of that. So I'm already back to full health, but I do a lot more damage now. So this is just to make my boss fight easier, basically. Oh, and I'm very glad I did, because it's up against the Haunt. I could still take damage on this one. I still have one more. One more damage will still increase my damage. One more tick of uh, health taken from me will still increase my damage output. Past that, it doesn't really help. It's insane to see that base Azazel clears this fight with goddamn minutes to spare despite the fact that I already on Maggie actually have a pretty good item. Bomb's a key. I guess that's okay. Two of diamonds. Ooh. Okay. So, my best chance for success lies in Please work. God damn it. Oh, I'm so sad. My best chance for success lies in the possibility of having an arcade next floor. And I can't have an arcade next floor unless I go down to next floor with five cents. So the arcade would allow me to take red heart damage without the game counting it as red heart damage against me possibly getting a deal with the devil. So, I need something like that, right? An IV bag would be hilariously good for that, because it's a portable, basically... It's basically like a portable temperance. Whoop. I'm not trying that again. I learned my lesson on the first pass. This is not particularly effective. Dear Lord. The thing is, because they all have different fire rates, because they start firing at different times when I walk into them, it's not going to be super effective to try and st strafe back into them. But it looks like I actually split the damage basically across all of them. Ooh, that was unfortunate. It looks like at the start I split the damage basically across all of them because they all started dying at the same time. I'm actually going to bomb that and open it. Because I desperately need... Oh, yeah, I desperately need two cents. Thank you, that's exactly what I was going to say. No, I desperately need a spirit heart to protect my red health. Luckily, 
you know, outside of extreme stupidity, I shouldn't take red heart damage in this room. Okay, and we've got a Tinted Rock here. Please, Spirit Hearts, thank you. I'll take the just one, sure. It's all I needed, just one. Of course, up until the moment that I take too much damage, in which case all I needed was two. Why didn't you drop two? How dare you? Okay, I'll keep both of these. I'll remember there's another two of diamonds there. All I need to get up to is like, what, 20... 20... 25 cents, right? 25 cents and then doubling it twice will get me to 99 because it would have gotten me to... Ooh, freezing effect. That's pretty good. Because otherwise it would have gotten me to uh, 100. Easy. Thank you for freezing. God. Oh, my damage is so low that these guys are just kind of crawling in on me. It's feeling a little claustrophobic where I am. Uh -huh. I'm not going to do that. Okay, this uh, this room shouldn't actually be that difficult. Regardless of whether I can freeze, which is basically my best asset right now, the ability to freeze. Um, this is not as threatening as any of the rooms that I faced last floor. But of course, that makes sense, because last floor I was on Cellar 1, and Cellar 1 is the harder version of Basement 1. And this is Basement 2, which has basically the same floor, uh, sorry, basically the same uh, possible room layouts as Basement 1. It's weird that it goes like that, because the game, like, can just randomly get easier a few moments in. Oh, excellent. Thank you for the petrified poop. This is going to help me get my money to a situation where I can double my <clears throat> current amount of coins twice and get into the riches. Okay, perfect. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm not going to have a key this floor, so I'm not actually going to be able to capitalize on all of my riches. You know, in a shop-based environment. But, you know, it's the way things go, apparently. Okay, I picked up Judas's Tongue because Judas's Tongue is only effective in deals with the devil. That's what it's entirely for. It makes two heart deal with the devils into one heart deal with the devil. Which is only going to matter if the game offers me, like, two... Sorry, three two heart deals with the devil. In which case, I would have only previously been able to take two of them. But now, with Judas's Tongue, I'll be able to take all three. Since you can, you know, take a one-heart deal, and then a two-heart deal, and then a two-heart deal. Which costs a total of five hearts. But the final one tries to take two hearts from you. You only have one heart, and it just goes, alright, whatever. Works pretty well like that. It also makes, like, a nice order of operations. You have to take items. Oh, fuck me. Yay. Oh, I got teleported back into the deal with the devil room, guys. Yay. God, this is atrocious. Oh, it's really bad. Really bad. No. Okay, there goes my spirit heart. I hate that room so much. To the left? That's my guess. Please give me a key. Not real. Well, I'll double my current amount because I can't take both two of diamonds cards with me. And I'll just move down. I am a sad dude. So what I want right now is an XL floor. Oh god, fine. No, I'll go back and take this. Only because... You know, I already have probably enough health to take any deal with the devil that I get offered. But it's also likely that I never get offered another deal with the devil. Because I didn't take any deal with the devil, right? Last floor, I got offered a uh, deal with the devil and I didn't take any. I didn't pay any red hearts for a deal with the devil, I guess is the way that I should probably be phrasing that. 
Um, which means that Deals with the Angel can now show up. And Deals with the Angel are notoriously bad because they don't have anything that increases your firepower in them. Well, they don't have many things in there that increase your firepower. So they make me a very sad dude. There's a lot of damage increase items in the Deal with the Devil pool, whereas the Deal with the Angel pool doesn't have that. And because of that, you can't sustain a whole run on them. Unless you get, obviously, like, really good damage in your item room pool, which I'm not getting. <laughs> okay, that was a pretty clutch dodge, if you ask me. But, of course, I would say all of my dodges are pretty clutch. I really like talking myself up in that way. Okay. I mean, I might as well. I'm going to regret this. I already regret this. So I'm unlikely anyhow to get a deal with the devil, but if I don't get hit in this fight, I could possibly get a deal with the devil. Right. It's still unlikely, but it's possible. Okay. Come on, Polyphemus, freeze again. Freeze for mama. Oh, baby, I like it like that. Perfect. Didn't even help. Tears plus shot speed up. Yay. You can see how incredibly excited I am. The problem is, I have one huge benefit right now, and I can't capitalize on it at all. Bloody lust. If I get an IV bag, the whole run turns tips... Yo. Know, the whole run turns tits up. That's a damage up plus a tears up. It's a good item. But it decentralizes the damage from the character. So controlling the character becomes really difficult. I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it. I can't, I don't want to do it. But I was begging for damage up and stuff. Ah, tears down? Are you kidding me? Fine. All right. We're going to have a Gear T run, which means that I'm going to throw real hard. Because the Gear Team always makes me lose the game. I, I, can't, I can't control the tears in the direction that they're supposed to be going right now. Because my body is no longer the central firing point of my tears, and my head is no longer the center by which I take damage. It's... Oh, I don't like it. I really don't like it. By the way, if you're looking at this and going, shit, the damage up is crazy. No, the damage up is just courtesy of the fact that I have the... Um, fuck it, I'll do it now. It's just courtesy of the fact that I have uh, Bloody Lost proccing a number of times already. Take all of my money donation machine. Make up for the shit that I'm having to do right now. Okay, it took a fair about. It should be noted that my head is actually an orbital that doesn't take damage, so I can use that to block damage from myself if I were, you know, a ballsier, better player. Ow. Well, that should be the final damage up that I can get this floor. Walls of steel. Yay. Okay, and then fire over there. I'm starting to get a little better in this run of using it. But I still... If, if I have a run that is, you know, even slightly possibly going to succeed, I'm not going to take this item. It's just because I am so scared about the possibility of never getting another tears up or never getting another damage up that I took it. Excellent. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I feel pretty solid with how that went down. Um, I'll place that there. Perfect. Black Lotus. Cool. One health up of every type. 
That's an item, by the way, that a lot of people really need for Platinum God. And it's an item that I needed for Platinum God right up until, uh, what, about 20 runs ago where I broke the game in a secret room in order to get all of the items that I needed for Platinum God. Or at least a number of the secret room items that I needed for Platinum God. I still need Transcendence from the secret room pool. Which is just a crying shame. So difficult to get. So I think next run, I'll just house rule that I want to play Isaac. Because, you know, I've got to get a few breaking runs in there so that I can possibly get the items that I need to finish real, uh, sorry, to finish Platinum God, not real Platinum God. Real Platinum God is still a while off. Samson, Ball and Chain, I can drag it over, you know. It does contact damage with enemies, it blocks tears, I can drag it over rocks in order to destroy them. It's pretty good. The only reason I wouldn't take it is because it can confuse me as the position of a lot of things. By the way, that's the seed for anyone that's looking for it. W, Y, Z, H, N, double H, V. If you hate yourself, feel free to give this one a go. Oh boy, it's a whole load of fun. <sighs> Too good. Okay. I kind of want to sacrifice a little... I almost walked onto those spikes. I kind of want to sacrifice a little bit of my health in order to get this bloody lost going because I do have a lot of spirit hearts right now. So I'm not going to really sweat it if I get hit, but I'm also probably not going to try and get hit because that's just bad form. I can just wait for my head to go over the side and then, ho <laughs> I'm not taking that because that will actually guarantee me angel rooms or rather give me a higher chance of getting angel rooms, but you know, I already have a pretty high chance of getting angel rooms. Don't need it any higher, thank you very much. Well, this is going to be hard. Because I won't be able to fire directly. Luckily, the head orbital does a lot of damage. It's kind of like a, a, a sacrificial dagger, if I recall correctly, in the amount of damage it does as an orbital. Hey, if I can get best friends forever, do you think this counts as a friend? My head? There's only one way to find out. It's science time. Cushy, cushy, ticka, ticka, woo! Yes, that was based on Hamtaro. It's Hamtaro time. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Hey, at least my tears are a little bigger, right? <clears throat> oh, right, Cursed Maze. Let's go in the correct direction now. If we can manage it, of course. Excellent. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ah, <laughs> uh, that head's doing all the damage for me. Yeah, I'll reverse using bombs a key. That's completely fine by me. Okay. Obviously, I don't want my head, or head orbital to do the damage to these guys because it will actually blow them up literally in my face. Okay, perfect. What up, Gertie? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I took two ticks of damage that I didn't need to there, but... You know. You gotta break eggs to make omelets. We're firing tears very quickly. I understand. I really do that guillotine is a good item. Just by definition but i hate it so much i did not know by the way that <laughs> that blank card was in the in that pool i didn't know that blank card was in the uh secret room pool i think i might have picked it up there before as well but i don't think i picked it up there while i knew what it was while I had an appreciation for the incredible power of the blank card.
Now, if I wanted to, I could go through this whole floor and attempt very hard to get a crawl space by running the rock. Uh, sorry, running the thing, my Samson's chain over every rock. I could. I'm not going to, though, for a number of reasons, including the factor of time. And the, that's super fucking tedious, and I don't want to do it. So I'm starting to run out of expendable health, which is a problem. Basically, I don't have any health anymore. Well, I do have still two more parts of it. But I don't have much health anymore that I can risk losing just to get some more damage from Bloody Lost. God damn it! That was unfortunate. That's really good. That is a damage up. Okay. What's this? Two hearts. Don't need it. Take that. Perfect. Um, the curved horn is a two damage up. It's just a trinket that gives you plus two damage. That is more than most items give you. So yeah, the curved horn is amazing. It's right up there with Cancer at the list of the best trinkets in the game. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Forgot I could have done that. Oh, well, it was trash anyway. Ah, come on. Come on. There we go. Excellent. Necropolis 1. Okay, so I've got half of a heart. Don't lose that half of a heart in the adversary fight. Well, don't lose more than that. Well, I need not to lose any more. Excellent. Hey, we got an angel room. Fight. Wait, hang on. Those are bad. Really pretty distraught that we got an angel room. Yay. Two eternal hearts. I'm so happy. Are you kidding me? Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, sure. Who who needs who needs good tears? Let's just take all of the most tedious tear effects in the video game, put them together, and shove them right up my Okay, so Pin is being Pretty much decimated, but then again, that's entirely due to the fact that we have six triggers of Bloody Lust right now. We cannot, unfortunately, rely on always having six triggers of Bloody Lust. Unless, of course, we want to give up entirely on getting deals with the Devil or deals with the Angel. Okay. I should probably also find the shop, see if I can get myself anything redeeming in there. Perfect. Well, we got a compass. It's better than nothing. I'll tell you that much. It's definitely better than nothing. But only just... No, the compass is pretty good. I shouldn't shit on the compass just because I'm really sad with the rest of the run. I'm gonna give peace a chance. What's this? Nothing. What's this? Nothing. Whoop, forget the floor. Double tears down. Bombs a key. Well, I gave peace a chance, and now it's time to go back to war. Oh, baby. Um, the Empress is gonna be more useful in the long term than the stars, because there is only one more opportunity for me to actually get anything from the stars card. And I already have the directions for it, so it doesn't matter. Okay, re-roll my whole run. How dare you not re-roll my whole run. It's all I wanted. Just re-roll every item that I have. 
I would probably become pretty damn powerful if you re-rolled all of my items, to be completely honest with you. Because this trinket, that shit's staying. And that's mm, the biggest damage upgrade that I have so far. Excellent, just one gigantic wave of fuck. Excellent, that's the second time I've seen your head. Why don't you get it out of my face, you creepy fuck. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately... Oh, there we go. Cool. Now I can start taking red heart damage to do anything I want, including deal, increase my damage. Excellent. So now I can do this. Oh my god. I found pills, of course. 48 air energy, real good. Balls of steel, pretty, actually, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. Just for fun. How's that? Just for fun. I'll take five damage there. Because I have a full, <clears throat> I have a full health pill just up here. I probably should have gone down to only one red health so that I could have gone into the <clears throat> boss trap room before I did that. But I didn't think about that. So that's why I didn't do that, if you're wondering. Excellent. This would be so much better with flying because then I wouldn't have to worry so heavily about the position of my body. Like, it wouldn't have to so rigidly stick to the contours of the room. Boom. I like that we can just go, oh, cool. It is now your time to die. But don't let that come anywhere near exonerating this horrid item. Eh, whatever. Okay. Boom. Let's take that and go down. <clears throat> so since I've got the compass, I should probably just rush from boss, to, uh, boss fight to boss fight. It's pretty much my primary goal right now. Okay, so that library can actually have cards in it, so I should actually go to the library before I go to the boss fight. It's pretty useful against Polycephalus, I'll say that much. Anti-Grav has been pretty useful against Polycephalus because it comes up and then it just, you know, retrieves the fuck cannon. Sorry, receives the fuck cannon, my apologies. Excellent. Okay, the head does a lot of damage. It might do much more damage than I thought it did. That's not me saying it's good. That's me saying it does probably more than I thought it did. God. If this run ends in me saying, yeah, anti-grab's actually a really good item, then I'm going to be very disappointed in myself. Opinions are supposed to be like concrete. You shouldn't change them for any reason ever. New information should never change your opinion. Well, starting to take some damage here. Mostly due to the fact that I can't tell where my fucking body is. And guess whose fault that is? Uh. <clears throat> 
Does anyone want to stand up and say it's their fault? Anti-grav. Actually, it's not anti-grav. The reason I can't tell where my body is is because of guillotine. Okay. No items. Wow. All right, I'll hurt myself again. Take that. Cool. That should be all of the damage that I need to take in order to power up bloody... No, I've taken all of the damage that I need. You guys can stop helping me with that. Yeah, I can't navigate around these this thin corridor with my current understanding of... Oh, my body is probably directly below my head. That makes sense. None of those are helpful. If I had flight, maybe, because then that's just two kind of like spirit hearts in there, but don't have flight. Well, it's not two spirit hearts. It's a spirit heart and a black heart, but you know, at a certain point, I just default to calling them all spirit hearts. God, this is going to be atrociously annoying. Oh, it wasn't atrociously annoying. It actually fixed itself. That's pretty good. Hey, that's one guppy item. Plus, it's actually going to protect my health for a while. Ooh, the Emperor. Okay. Yeah, I'll just Emperor every single floor. That's fine with me. All the bandages. I'll also blow this up because it's a tinted rock. Not what I was looking for, but definitely worth it. Cool. Yeah, no, I'll, ju I'll just fucking Emperor every single floor. Only fight the boss with this amount of health? That might sustain me. I will try and get to the arcade first, however. First off, because I need to build a charge for my... <clears throat> for my Emperor card. But also, because it'll help me get some damage to do with my uh, Bloody Lost. <laughs> Amnesia, please be full health. God damn it, I shouldn't have used that. Whoops. Excuse me. Alright, whatever. I was really hoping to take a little more damage on that one, to be completely honest with you, but uh, evidently that was not in my future. Uh, eh, no, I'll just go. Okay, it lives. Show me what you're working with. Okay, and boom! Take that, Mom's heart, and boom! Take that one as well. One more boom. You think you can take another? There you go. How about another boom for you? Okay. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Um, I'm actually gonna complete another two rooms at least here on the womb because the rooms on the womb are going to be much more easy for me to complete than the rooms on the cathedral so i would prefer to just immediately go into the isaac fight as soon as i get down to the next floor god how are these trash items working the run is sustaining them Ooh, right. Gotta go up. What? I walked straight through the beam of light. How dare you not take me to the cathedral. Take me to church. I'll worship like a dog at the shrine of your light. So this is all gonna be the head orbital. Just kind of pooping on him. Pooping on that. Pooping on that. 
because it blocks the tears that are coming out while also doing an incredible amount of damage. God, come on, you resilient motherfucker. Please, just die. There we go. Okay, so it's been very successful so far. Please give me an item. Please give me an item to make this all okay. Please help me find the same white pills to take my pain away. Well, that's more orbitals, so I'm going to take less damage. This is so atrocious and bad. I'm not going to full complete this floor. There is no way I'm doing that shit. Right. Fine. I'll take the card mimic just so I can try and get there earlier. Wow. That did not work out. And pop your head down. Perfect. That worked out a little better. I might just die in this room. Oh, not dead. Interesting. But I have taken an S load of damage. I don't know if I actually have the capability to survive through the blue baby fight. On this little health. I mean, look at how much health I traded away in the Isaac fight. But then again, Isaac has those ray of lights and... Spawns, angelic babies. I don't think blue baby spawns angelic babies. Although I wouldn't know, of course, because I don't really tend to ever fight blue baby for that long. Usually it's pretty in and out. It's just a quickie. Yeah, I'll take some poison damage. This room doesn't look like it's going to be that difficult. Well, when I said it doesn't look like it's going to be that difficult, what I meant was, oh no, evidently. Well, I could either fight the blue baby on one heart, or just try and go to rooms and find an item or health. So I'm just going to try and go to rooms. I feel like that's probably got a higher chance of succeeding for me. Okay, that's an eternal heart sitting right there. It's probably not going to help me, to be completely honest with you, but, you know, I like the sentiment. Oh, and oh my god, how am I still alive? I actually made it to the boss room. No. Okay, health up. Full health pill. Not a full health pill. I think I have to go to other rooms to give myself a better chance of, uh... Better chance of this here. So I think my best chance right now... Oh, and it's gone. I was going to kill Sloth and leave Gluttony until last, and then killing Gluttony might have dropped... Uh, the heart, less than three. Which would have actually full healed me as well as giving me another health. So I would have probably been able to take on Blue Baby after that. Oh, well. Let's get back to the title screen so they can say that my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Binding Isaac Rebirth. We played Maggie. Goddamn Maggie. I hate Maggie so much. Everyone loves Maggie and hates Eve. Why do you do that? Eve has damage potential built in. She's so good. Uh, whatever. Anyhow, we... It, it was a successful run. We put like 20 cents into the donation machine, right? That's all we needed to do. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself as much as I have. If you have, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my Binding Advisor Rebirth content, past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.